Okay, so a one-to-one -one function is just a function where each point in the range can only come from one point in the domain. And so what that means is, uh, well actually I'll give you an example first. Uh, if we had the graph y is equal to x squared, this is not going to be a one-to-one -one function because if we draw it, um, I'm not going to draw it to scale, but just to save some time, something like that. So we have a parabola, and what we have is, say if we had the point somewhere up here, uh, y was equal to 9, and then we're going to have our point somewhere out here was x is equal to 3, and x was equal to negative 3. And both of these numbers, 3 and negative 3, are going to give us the same value in the range. They're both going to give us the value of 9. Or likewise, if we had the points um, 2 and negative 2, they would be, you know, they would be both giving us the point 4, or the value 4 on the y-axis. So again, we're having two different values from the domain giving us one value in the range. So this is not a one-to-one -one function here. I'll just write that in red. Not one-to-one -one function. However, if we had, if we just limited the, the domain on this, if we had y was equal to x squared, but uh, we put a limitation saying maybe x uh, such that x is greater than or equal to zero we would get just the half of the parabola looking something like this. Uh, again, not to scale, but just so you get the shape of it. And now we have, say, uh, if we picked the point 2, we're only getting one value in the from the domain going into the range. If we picked 3, we get 9. There's no points that are going to have, say, negative 3 and 3, because as you can see, that's just not what's going on here. Um, another one that we could do would be uh, maybe y is equal to, uh, let's say, x cubed. Oh, actually, here, we'll write this up here. Uh, we will say this is a one-to-one. -one. See if that passes. All right, and so anyways, back to this. If we had a y is equal to x to the 3, it, you know, it has the shape something like this. And again, there's no points. Like if we had, uh, if we picked 2 and negative 2, uh, 2 would give us uh, y is equal to 8, and negative 2 would give us y is equal to negative 8. So the quick way, the, like the best way to test for this is just, uh, it's called the horizontal line test. And so you just draw horizontal lines, oops, make them straight. You, just, you can just draw horizontal lines everywhere through your graph, and if there's any point where your horizontal line touches your, your function more than once, then it's not a one-to-one. -one. So here you can see all of these horizontal lines are obviously only touching once. So this is, again, let's write this down. This one is also is a one-to-one -one function. Same thing here. If we do a horizontal line test, we're only getting one point of contact between our horizontal lines and our graph. So yep, this one is a one-to-one -one function. And here you can see the horizontal line test um, as we're starting to go through all these points and they're all crossing uh, our horizontal lines twice. I guess the only one that would be an exception would be zero, but um, if there's any point on the function that touches the horizontal line twice, then it's not a one-to-one -one function. So if you go back to the first function video, um, we were talking about functions acting like a machine. So remember we had this crude little machine looking thing here with, this is our function. And here we have our input, and here we have our output, right? And this was x. We're sending x into the machine, and the function would work on it and spit out f of x. So the cool thing about one-to-one -one functions is that if we take the inverse of a one-to-one -one function, we can use the f of x values as our input, and we can send these back into the machine this way and we'll get out the x values. And that doesn't happen if you have something like y is equal to x squared. That only happens with one-to-one -one functions.